Okay, guys. So this is the Bubble Bar 11 recipe. Um, I had a couple of gals ask me what would happen if I added the glycerin to it, which I said was optional. And so what I did was I made the batch and I added 20 grams of glycerin to it. And you can see that the texture is still quite creamy, um, not real airy and fluffy. And you can see and hear that it is still very hard. Now this bar is 1.4 ounces. And the reason I made this batch that size is because the other recipe um, without the glycerin, I had made them about 2.5 ounce bars. So um, I wanted to make the bars smaller so that they would be single use. So this is the one with the 20 grams of glycerin added. And I just want to see how the bubbles are going to be affected. Um, Texture-wise, it didn't really affect anything, so that was good. It did make it a little bit stickier to roll. Um, and I did have use um, some baking soda on the um, parchment paper. And I'm not crumbling this. I just wanted to see how, because it was so hard, I just wanted to see what it would do. Um, but you can see it is, once the water hits it, it makes it softer and easier to crumble in the water because it is pretty hard bar. Up oh, there, it's starting to break up now. And I'm also not gonna agitate the water like I didn't in the other videos. Um, because I want to see what it'll do on its own. Oh, I dropped my big piece. My water's not very warm. And you can see the bubbles are good and I still have half of the bar in my hand. Try to break this up a little quicker here. Hard to do one-handed. So I'm just gonna break up the little pieces at the bottom. And you can see the bubbles are nice and fluffy. I'm a little bit surprised that with the glycerin added, that it wasn't a little bit easier to dissolve in the water. I mean, it dissolves all right. I just kind of figured it would dissolve it a little bit better than what it did. Oh, there's a big chunk. Okay, so I don't really think that the glycerin affected the bubble amount at all. So that's good. I'm gonna try to pull up my sleeve a little bit here. All right, so I think I got all of the little crumbles. Oh, no, there's a couple. dropped it. All right, so let me get up here and show you what we've got. <coughs> so this is with 20 
grams of glycerin added to the recipe. Like I said, it is optional if you need it for rolling. I have not needed it, but I wanted to show you guys what it would do. Texture, pretty much still the same. Bubbles, pretty much the same. Um, so I guess if you wanted to use glycerin, you certainly could. And this is pretty much what you would get. And I still like it. 